To my left, I have the 2024 Ram 1500 in the Tradesman trim. Now we're gonna be talking about this. It is a four x four and we're comparing it over to my right, which is the next trim up over to the 2024 1500 Ram in the Bighorn trim. And we're gonna be talking about these from differences to similarities in this video. But before we even start, yes, you guessed it right. We're gonna ask you to put bread on our tables by liking and subscribing to our channel. Guys, and if you got some for us to film, here's our email, email us so we can talk details later. A special shout out and a thanks to Folsom Lake Ram Jeep Chrysler and Dodge for providing both of these trucks for this comparison video. Also keep watching and stay tuned because we're also dropping those MSRP stickers so you guys get an exact idea of what comes on each of these trucks and the price tag on top. Guys, now let's go ahead and talk Ram 1500, Tradesman and Bighorn. Let's start comparing by talking about the engines. Now we only popped one of the front hoods because they both have the same exact powertrains. What do we get under the hood of both these trucks is a V6 3.6 liter, comes together with the eight speed automatic transmission, the A50RE transmission, and it pushes 305 horsepower with 273 pounds feet of torque. Now on the Bighorn itself, it's going to have a little bit less MPG. Now that's 19 city, 24 highway, and a 21 combined. This Bighorn does have a 321 rear axle ratio with a GVWR of 6,900 pounds. Now if we come over to the Tradesman itself, you're going to have a little bit better MPG with 20 city, 25 highway, and a 22 combined. Why? Because I honestly believe less weight on the truck will get to better MPG. For example, the rims are lighter and things of that sort. But that's pretty much what's different with regards to the specs. Same exact powertrains. Now, if you wanna know if you have the option of getting a V8 Hemi, yes, even in the Tradesman, you can also get a V8 Hemi, just like the one right there. If you show the camera right there, that's a Hemi e Torque 1500 Tradesman, okay? Now, starting with the front end, the Tradesman is pretty much a lower trim. It's almost kind of the entry level 1500. You're gonna see just pretty much blacked out trim and that's because it's not painted, just kind of has that matte black paint over it, kind of like a primer look. Different design grill on the Tradesman, the Ram and the Chrome, and dropping down, you don't have any fog lights, no recovery hooks, no bumper sensors, just pretty much a blacked out bumper all around. The headlight itself comes with a blacked out housing, a little bit of chrome, but they are halogen and you got that soft yellow lighting. Moving over to the Bighorn, a little bit more richer, luxurious look with the chrome going around. You have the different design grille, okay? And you're dropping down, you get the fog lights and the halogen. That's pretty cool that they add the halogens in the Bighorn. But look at the headlight. Same design, just more chrome, okay? It kind of looks a little bit more bright or light on this front end. You don't have any bumper sensors, no cameras on the Bighorn, okay? Moving over to the side. We got 1500 e-torque, 1500 e-torque on both. Just gives the, that e-torque gives a little bit more spunk uh, on that gas pedal and even for the toe itself. Dropping down to the rim area, you're gonna have two different rims, okay? Starting with the lower trim, they're gonna run the Goodyear Wranglers and that's a 275, 65, 18 and it's one color rim. The design itself with the standard suspension. Coming over to the Bighorn, it's still a Goodyear Wrangler, 275, 65, 18, literally the same exact tire, just different look on the rim in that one color rim, also with that standard suspension. Moving forward to the side mirrors, what's different on these side mirrors? Take a look. One has the integrated blinker lighting, no integrated blinker lighting, just as shown, okay? Now, they do not come automatic foldable, but they do come heated, no blind spot assist on either or. Moving forward, black plastic handles. Continuing forward, you got on the turnaround, on the camera, you got RAM and Chrome on the driver door on one and nothing here on the Tradesman, okay? Continuing forward, you have two options on the beds. Now, I'm gonna mention it, they're not in the video, but you got the five, seven option, the five foot, seven inch, and then you got the six, four. Check out our other comparison videos or single videos for reviews on that as well. Just wanted to mention that to you guys, kind of food for thought. Moving over to the rear end, not much different over to the rear end. With the Tradesman, remember I told you everything's pretty much blacked out with that bumper, but only tech you're getting back here is pretty much that backup camera 
up top by the handle. It's a dampening, soft opening tailgate. And that's pretty much it. As mentioned, you get 6,900 pounds of towing capacity. It comes with a uh, customer preferred package, which adds on that tow hitch and few things like rubber mats and carpet uh, flooring for the inside. Just little things that you would see. So coming over to the Bighorn, that chrome bumper that you're getting, and that's pretty much the difference back here as well, okay? The tail lights themselves are the same exact tail lights, just get black housing on the tail lights compared to the Bighorn, just chrome. So chrome all around on the Bighorn, blacked out on the Tradesman. Popping open these tailgates real quick. Same exact uh, bed with that 5.7, no lighting in this bed. You got that integrated brake light up top with that electric controlled rear window. But if we come over to the Tradesman, same exact brake light with that rear uh, electric controlled window itself, okay? Now we're pretty much done talking about specs, showing you guys the differences from exterior to the beds and some similarities. Let's go ahead and jump inside and talk interiors. All right, so on the interior side of the Tradesman, this is the lower trim. It has a customer preferred package. So you might see things that are different between a non-customer preferred package Tradesman to our customer preferred package Tradesman which adds things like the rubber mats that aren't in the car right now. You get the carpeted floor, okay? The regular tradesmen or the really, really entry-level trucks will come with the rubber flooring or that like plastic flooring, all right? And things of that sort. Now, starting with the door panel, the main differences to these cars are automatic foldable mirrors. I forgot or I mistaked that the Bighorn does come automatic foldable mirrors. You'll see that button in between the R and the L for that control. Other than that, you got the inlays that are simply different. For example, the Bighorn will have a little bit of cloth or canvas inlay and different kind of color schemes, but the design itself is still there. Now, moving forward, difference is the steering wheel. This is kind of a plastic feel steering wheel to where the Bighorn has the leather wrapped steering and you're getting the heated steering wheel inside the Bighorn to where the Tradesman, you don't get no heated seats or no heated steering. Driver cluster screen literally the same okay nothing different but from the bighorn cluster to the tradesman cluster a lot of difference where you're going to see is the fact that this is a six seater car so you're getting two benches six seater truck okay instead of the five seater in the bighorn where you have a captain council a captain seating in the front now the infotainment screen is going to be different it's a little itty bitty screen See so if we can go ahead and turn that on up. There you go, let's go to our media. But it's super, I'm not sure if you guys can see that. It is touch sensitive, all right? You get a compass, top right, but you're not getting navigation and things of that sort. Complete different infotainment screen. You got your knobs for your single climate control, buttons for your trailer brake. This comes because of the customer preferred package. You get that trailer brake assist. And then also the two buttons, tow, haul, traction control are the same. Difference you're gonna see here by this uh, shift knob is because the Bighorn in this video comes with the four x four and the Tradesman in this video is just a two wheel drive. So you're not getting the four x four system that is right near the shift knob, okay? USB-C, USB-A plugins are down here and a personal cubby room for change and personal belongings. No second glove compartment. One glove compartment that is lockable both seats on the tradesman are manual controlled all right cup holders are here in the front with some cubby room on the back of that mid seat on that front bench okay up top what are some differences is you're gonna have an sos and kind of a uh, personnel assist button here and here in the bighorn we don't get that in the tradesman all right, and that's pretty much it, guys, for the front of this Tradesman. Let's go ahead and show you guys the second row seating and then jump into the higher trim, the Bighorn. Second row seating, everybody. What are we gonna be seeing that is different back here? No armrest on the back of that bench. And this bench itself is a full bench. You don't get a 40 percenter on the driver's side and a 60 percenter on the passenger side. It just lifts up one bench. Kind of inconvenient if you got passengers sitting in the car as you're trying to get to your personal belongings. You have a little divider here that you don't get in the tradesmen that kind of separate your tools or whatnot. And then wanted to show you guys that both come with these little cubbies down here. 
for tools, personal belongings, measuring tapes, whatever you want to put back there or down there. No pockets on the back of those front seats. All right. And then complete different back council. You got the vents coming down uh, or coming through and a little cubby room. And I'm going to show you guys how different that looks on the tr uh, Bighorn. Okay. So let's drop this down. This is a crew cab and I'm about six feet, two inches. So there's more than enough room for leg clearance and head clearance up top. Okay. Uh, yep. This is not a, well, let me go ahead and see. You can't even turn, you can't even turn this light on from here. Okay. Like even if I go to press it to where the big horn, if you press that, it turns on. So this is like a super, super basic truck. Everybody, this is kind of like, if you need a truck just for the work, you're going to be like turfing it. This is the truck you want coming in at like $46,000 and some change entry level truck. Now let's go ahead and shoot over to the big horn. All right. Now with the higher trim from the tradesman to the big horn. And we know that because check that out big horn on that second glove compartment. Okay. Remember that the uh, tradesman didn't have this glove compartment, but let's go ahead before we get ahead of ourselves, bring over the door panel. Same design. Remember I told you guys about the design. You're just going to ch change the inlays or the trim a little bit, adding a little bit more kind of luxurious feel to it or higher class feel. And then you add that automatic foldable button that I mistaked on the exterior of the car that you get. And if you press the mirrors will open and close. Okay. Now steering wheel does come leather wrapped as mentioned, and it does come heated just as well as the front seats come heated as well. Remember the cluster I told you about that small little digital screen. Nothing is different. You got the silver going around, just kind of making it look a little bit more, um, not so boring. Moving over to the infotainment screen, got the silver going around a little bit bigger screen instead of that little puny tradesman screen. Um, not sure if the lighting is affecting the video right now, but sorry if it is heated seats, heated steering wheel, different knobs, single, uh, climate control. Um, the traction on and off tow haul button are the same with the trailer brake, but look where your USB-C and USB-A plugins. Remember I told you the five seater, or this is the captain seating front. So you're getting five seats in this truck to where six seats, you get that extra person in the middle. This takes away. And personally, I am a captain chair fan. Um, yes, you're losing a passenger. Maybe you want to do, you know, like a road trip with your friends or something. It's kind of a plus or minus, whatever you think. Uh, your phone's right there. These are your phone holders. Okay. Sliding shelf, cup holders, change holder, and some personal space. Let's go ahead and lift this center console, top of the center console. And then you get the USB-A plug-in with more cubby room and get a load of that uninterrupted space under that tray. Got those trucks starting from those old little Dodge pickups over to these big 1500s with your little measuring pad there on the back. Okay. Now the seats themselves, as mentioned, they come heated. The only power adjusted seat is the driver. You got your manual adjusted seat on the passenger. All right. And in front of the passenger, as I mentioned, you get two glove compartments, one up top, one on the bottom that is lockable up top. Remember I mentioned the personal, I mean the assist button there and your SOS button that you're getting in the big horn. I think they should put that in every truck, honestly, just kind of for safety features. And then you're getting a sunglass holder in this one as well. So guys, we're pretty much done with the front side of this big horn. Now let's go ahead and show you guys the second row seating and finish off with this video. All right. Second row seating in the big horn and get a load of what I meant by this back bench armrest with the cup holders. You didn't have that in the tradesman the 60 percenter that you get, and then a 40 percenter on the driver, the split wall kind of here for your personal belongings. All right. And then yes, you still have the cubbies down here, which I didn't know about when we did other comparison videos, because this thing was literally blocking it. Gosh, I feel like a noob, right? But again, I'm open to corrections. Everybody differences, other differences, the pockets on the back of those front seats, as mentioned, Center console, completely different. Your cup holders are up top as well as the vents. And you just got a little bit of room. All right. No tech back here, no chargers or anything in the big horn. If anybody would like to know now, guys, as promised, here's the MSRP sticker. First to the tradesman, get a load. It's uh, coming in at around 46,000 some change as mentioned. It's kind of an entry truck. And here's the MSRP sticker over to the big horn. 
one step higher, coming in at around $56,000 and some change. I think it's $56,770. Let me know if you guys think it's worth it. Check out our other comparison videos from Bighorn to Laramie, from Laramie to Limited Longhorn in uh, at our channel at Vagabond Builds with James and Sandu. We appreciate you guys watching and we thank you so much for your time here at Vagabond Builds. Check out our other videos. God bless you.